Mr. Pew to be able to help us find this girl. Her name is Jose Lopez. A Bronx neighborhood going to bat for a mother in pain. I definitely will take a picture. There's flyers everywhere. There's flyers and nobody called and nobody said anything. Noemi Brinson flew nearly 1,500 miles from Longview, Texas to New York on December 19th. That's my daughter or the police. After receiving a Facebook message from some Bronx residents about her missing daughter. She said her name was Beyonce when I met her. That's the name she given everybody around here. Dulce Lopez, 31, was sitting on a crate outside the Mini Mart on Bainbridge Avenue and East 207th Street, December 16th. She didn't seem like she belonged in the streets. She didn't look like a street girl. Lopez's sister told us Dulce suffered from manic depressive episodes before moving to the Bronx from Texas. She had one about maybe a year or two ago and she had just gotten stable, had a job in the Bronx, was working. But her family knew she was under stress in late November about her new relationship, and they called police asking for wellness checks. They put her in the ambulance, and they saw that she wasn't right in their mind, and they still didn't take her to the hospital. The mother of Dulce Lopez told us she has traveled several times to Casanova Street in the Bronx, where her daughter had recently been living in a basement apartment with her boyfriend, but he didn't have much to offer in the way of information. A surveillance image from the deli in mid-December shows a clearly distressed Lopez at the counter. Break my heart when I see those pictures because I, I really know, I know that she really needs help. The mother visited the deli yet again. Yeah, I see her before. But since uh, the undercover came the other day, they checked the camera, I never see her again. She says she rides the trains to get out from the streets. She has nowhere to sleep, that she was in shelters. Christmas, I was on the street like a late night and the last day of the year also. So Noemi Brinson continues to rely on the kindness of strangers to help her search. We'll find her. She's a good kid. Walking, taking trains and riding buses and sending a plea to her daughter. I would say we're here to help you. We're here to protect you. You don't have to be afraid. Uh, your family is here looking for you and we love you so much. Call us. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.